So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, some advanced layout options. So uh, if you have your home page open that you're going to be setting up the design for, uh, what we're going to do is uh, maybe I'll just give it the title home page, um, but that can be uh, improved. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some layout tables here. Right now it's in uh, common mode for the insert bar switch that to uh, layout mode and there's three options here we're in standard uh, we're gonna go to layout click on OK and uh, here's where you want to decide how big your websites going to be so I'm going to use this layout table basically the layout table uh, defines the size of your web page so you just want to be uh, conscious of how wide you actually want your web page to be um, Okay, uh, and then we're going to use these layout cells uh, to put in different regions. I know I'm going to want to have an area for a logo, uh, an area for some buttons at the top for navigation, an area here for a title. It's nice that it snaps to these uh, lines. Um, an area down here for a picture and some area at the, at the bottom for some text. Uh, so this is generally where I want to have things. Uh, you should save frequently uh, while you're doing this. Uh, so and then you, if you've got your site defined, you can just go to your folders and bring in the objects. So uh, I'll do the buttons first. So these are for the different parts of my website: home, animation, dinosaur, and gravy. Um, then it's a good idea to shrink these cells and uh, I'll just uh, drop that down here a little bit more. Uh, you won't be able to drag the buttons around but you can drag the cell that they're in so it just takes a little bit of work to get used to. Uh, this will be for a title so I'll put Mr. Stardom's whoa Mr. Stardom's uh, awesome website uh, that's a really nice title and I'll just uh, bump up the size a little bit and center it. It's looking good. Um, as far as graphics go, I'm going to put a logo in the top left. Uh, maybe reduce the size a little bit. There we go. Uh, and I'll put a picture of my cat in the middle and uh, then for text, uh, I've got a text file here that I can open uh, and I'll just copy and I'll just write the word news here, though that's not at all what will be re represented here. Uh, so just sort of an imaginary three paragraphs of uh, text. Maybe I'll do uh, heading there. Okay. Uh, so this is basically how that works. Um, so I can actually uh, view my page now uh, on the internet. Uh, another thing that might be nice to do is if you go back to standard mode and click outside the table, uh, you can center it uh, so that this will always appear in the center of the web page no matter uh, how wide the user has their screen set. Uh, so that should be everything you need to know about uh, advanced um, advanced layout tools. Uh, after you've usually after you've got your first page set with your uh, navigation, uh, you'd want to uh, save this basically as all the pages you're going to do. So I'm going to save as, and then the next name would be animation. So it'll show up exactly the same as this. I'm going to file save as uh, dinosaur and then file save as uh, my last web page gravy. And uh, then pretty much all I have to do is uh, now say if I want to open up the animation page uh, then just sort of reformat everything to be more like uh, I want my animation page to look like. So there you go.